It was just so shady from the beginning. Questions are still coming in about our coverage on Elrico Tunstall, the creator of Sacred, who made claims on social media and to WEAR News it was picked up by Peacock. We reached out again. Peacock says, quote, it's not one of their shows. They declined to comment further, but one person who auditioned did. For fear of backlash, he wants to remain anonymous, but provided this flyer advertising acting classes and tells me he was given no details on how to prepare and says others in the audition room insinuated their roles were part of a pay-to-play project. I sat in line for three hours, got back there, my audition was probably less than two minutes, and they immediately tried to sell me on this um, workshop that they were doing, which cost $500. I guess it was kind of implied that, you know, you have a better chance of getting a role if you take that course. But this is no nothing new, according to others claiming to have insight, who tell me Tunstall told his crews nearly a year ago that his show would soon be streaming on Netflix, the same platform Tunstall says he decided against before choosing Peacock. This particular incident have way more red flags than it should have. Actors across America have reached out with concerns on the issue following our story, like Sam Medina, who's been in film and TV for over 18 years with more than 100 credits in top movies and TV series. Speaking over the phone from Los Angeles, Medina says any offer to pay for acting classes by the same company who held auditions is a red flag in itself. That is actually conflict of interest because you, you can't be a management company and also be the writer and creator of a show. Those are totally opposite of, of the spectrum. And to charge actors so you can teach them and manage them, that's another conflict of interest in itself. You don't just sign a deal with Peacock or any network and then your series get released the following month. It does not work that way. The first time director getting this kind of deal just doesn't, yeah, it doesn't add up. Locals in the and film industry like Chris Jadala worry the project could have negative impacts on the area's film community, pointing out to me more concerns of the show's legitimacy, including a lack of film incentives in the state of Florida. It makes no sense. You can travel 45 minutes to Alabama and get 30% on every dollar you spend. So no wise investor would invest in a film in Pensacola whenever they're leaving 30% of their investment on the table doing so. One of the biggest red flags of all when it comes to being picked up by a network is that you don't get picked up by a network without a script and a cast. I I've never heard of a network, no matter who you are, picking up a show without a script and a cast because those two things are imperative to, to make something happen.